Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Barb Mitchell, here today live at Capacity Europe in London, uh, where we're we're continuing our coverage of JSA TV, and today we're joined, uh, now I'm joined by Mark Cooper, VP Market and Business Development at Atlas Edge. It's great to be back. I, I mean, the last year has gone so fast. Oh my gosh, hasn't it? I know, it's been a year since since we were here uh, last, but I, I saw some of your team members. I had the opportunity of chatting with them at Data Cloud in Monaco, yeah. but what was that, five, six months ago? Uh, and, and so, you know, we stay on top of, of what, of course, you're doing at Atlas Edge, and, and we did have that update, but a lot's happened. Things are moving quickly. Uh, tell, give us an update. What's happened in the last sort of half of a year uh, at yeah. Atlas Edge? I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's nonstop. I mean, we're, we're all about growth. We listen to our customers. The customers are always looking for expansion opportunities. Yeah. So probably when we last caught up, we just announced the Data Center One acquisition. Right. So that's yeah. extending our footprint in Germany, kind of reaffirming our focus, which is where we're not really interested in doing the flat markets. We're much more about the, the tier two markets. So yeah. that's happened. Um, and I think excitingly for us as well, Lisbon is a new market for us. Okay. So I think Lisbon is one of those markets that's becoming more and more relevant from a subsidy perspective, but also from a scale perspective because of the, the advantages of the power pricing there. Yeah. So Lisbon's a really, really exciting one for us because it's the first new country we're going into. And it's the first kind of real new greenfield build for us. So right. that's 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 where we're going. Kind of more drops on the map. Yeah. But that's not all, right? Because new acquisitions, new markets, which is always exciting to talk about. I mean, you know, we've been chatting a lot here uh, today and, and at various shows. I mean, it's just such a global um, infrastructure market, uh, obviously. So that's very important. But to, to really bring those forward, partnerships are key. And I know that yeah. you've had a lot of those. Can you talk, I'll let yeah. you tell I mean, us a little I mean, bit about your I mean, absolutely. I mean, we, we kind of... For us, it's great to have the direct relationships, and there will always be large customers where we have those relationships. Yeah. But we also know to get the reach, and especially on a global basis, it's yeah. about partnerships. Yeah. So we announced we had, from the SDN side, Console Connect, we had Megaport, we had Packet yeah. Fabric, because we see that they're, they're just such key building blocks, because we, we really focus on building the ecosystems in the data centers, and it's the mixture. It's having the platforms, it's having the networks, and it's having the enterprises. And partners like you know Console or Megaport, they really drive the growth of that ecosystem. Right. Plus, you know, it's an extension of our Salesforce. Yeah, so key. I mean, Absolutely. You're, yep. you're ticking all the right major boxes. Um, and and so when you you know you've been with Atlas Edge since the very beginning, I believe, right? And and so when you think about where you've come and and where you're going, what excites you the most? Um, just the, the size of the opportunity. If I think so, I joined in June 21 before the company formally existed. Yeah, we launched right. in September 21. And if I just look at how much we've grown, the acquisitions we've done, the number of staff we've added, the, the locations, the relationships we've built with customers, yeah. I think it's, if we look back, no one could have predicted how much we've grown and how quickly it's grown. And there's just so much in the, in the future that's coming as well. Yeah. I think if we were here last year, we probably talked about the metaverse. Yeah. This, this year, AI is the buzzword, okay. um, and we just see that there's a whole wave of uh, opportunity coming there, whether it's at the scale ends with the larger facilities or whether it's kind of addressing the enterprise demand from an AI perspective. Yeah. But I think next year, we'll still be talking about AI. Probably. Yeah. But I think, I think the metaverse will kind of come back on the agenda as well because yeah. it's kind of closely linked. Yeah. Yeah, they are, right? And, yeah. and driving so much of what's happening and the, the need for, for supply and, and the infrastructures to support it, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, thank you very much. I mean, this is a quick little update from you, but is there anything else that you want to share, you know, before we wrap off, wrap up here and, and ways people can maybe connect with you for four, more? I mean, if people better stay two and a half years and you've been moving so fast, yeah. you know? Yeah, I mean, I think it's... Um, if you look at the growth we've gone through in terms of what we've done with kind of geographic expansion, what we've done with acquisitions, yeah. what we've done with building the team out now, you know, in the beginning there was the, the core that we had. We've added some, some very, very interesting names to the mix now as well. Yeah. Um, we're very focused on, on green as well. You know, we're right. still seen as the bogeymen in the industry because we're data centers, but we have a lot of focus around what can we do to improve energy efficiency? What can we do around water? What can we do about integrating with the 
the, the local environment as well. So yeah. Lisbon, again, is a great example. So the local council are building a police academy next to the data center. Okay. So great from a security perspective. Right, yeah. But also the waste heat is going to go there to either power their donut shop or their, their, their oh, gym. Well. <laughs> nice, <Yeah>. nice. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. And and you're right. I mean, sustainability is, uh, you know, it, you're, it's all the things you're talking about. Metaverse, AI, sustainability is so key to the future of what we're all doing yeah. here, uh, not just from an industry, but from a planet yeah. perspective, too. So, so thanks for mentioning that. Uh, and thank you for, for tuning or for no joining problem. us. And we appreciate, always appreciate connecting with you. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to talk to you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.